Hi there, I'm Carolyn, Trackologist here at Absolique. We're teaching you how to use the scalp cleanser today. So we've done our scalp brush therapy. Okay, 100 strokes front, 100 strokes at the back. Sorry, 100, 50 front, 50 back, 100 all over. And as we said, you must get in the shower and wash everything away straight away. So for that, we use a scalp cleanser. So scalp is skin, hair is not. So we're cleaning the scalp and we're going to separate uh, the hair and do a hair shampoo and conditioner later. So for now, it's the scalp cleanser. Okay, so we're in the shower. You've wet the hair down like you normally would for your hair shampoo, but we're going to grab the scalp cleanser first. So always give it a bit of a shake. And all we do is use um, about the top of the cap or a 20 cent piece between both hands, and we're just going to target it to the scalp. So all we want to do is move the product around onto the scalp. Now, the product's it's a nice gel. Okay, it's not runny that it'll drip everywhere, but it's enough to move it around very, very easily. Okay, but we're not using foaming agents. So you can see here, I can feel the product. I can feel that it's everywhere, but it's not foaming. So this scalp cleanser does not foam until it's clean. So most people, when they do it the first time, the scalp is not clean because you've never used a scalp cleanser. But remember, we've also done the brush therapy. So what we want to do with a scalp cleanser is rinse and repeat. Okay, so I can feel that it's there. It's not doing anything, so we need to rinse it out and do it again. You don't add more product because that's not how it works. So we'll just rinse it out. Okay, so we've rinsed out our scalp cleanser. We've done one. We're just going to go in the same amount again between both hands. And again, we just target it towards the scalp. And you can see with me that I've got a better foam. That's a really um, much better foam than it was the first time. So once you start to get a good foam, it's telling you that it's clean. Okay, The first time you do this, you probably won't get a foam until you've rinsed and repeat you know, at least three, sometimes even four times. Okay, so move it around. That's a really good foam, but I'm just gonna do it again so you can see how much foam um, that potentially we're looking for. The foam tells you that it's clean. This is really important. So we'll rinse again. And we're doing our third scalp cleanser. So again, you can just see that we're just directing it towards the scalp. Really easy to do, but so important to always separate uh, hair and scalp. Have a bit of a rule here, it's a 10 centimeter or fingers width. When you've got long hair, we're going to treat the hair separately. So we scalp are working 10 centimeters towards the scalp and the hair, we work 10 centimeters off the scalp. So this is the scalp cleanser, this is the third one. You can really feel and see the foam, okay? So that's what we're looking for. So always rinse and repeat, so always twice or until you get a really good foam. Now we're going to rinse this out again. Now as we're rinsing it out, it is running through the hair. So essentially, it's also cleaning the hair. So then we're going to follow up when we're going to start closing the cuticle of the hair using a hair shampoo and then a conditioner.